Walmart delivery. This is supposed to be snake eyes. And I might as well just get into it and see what the damage is. We sent them in this bubble mailer and it seems, oh geez, okay. There may be hope, guys. And nope. It's too much to ask for. Fairly bent up. Here's the first one. Corner dinged up. This corner is all beat up. And then have the second one. And it's equally as bent. It didn't feel like they were all bent up in there, but unfortunately they are. Um, so yeah, I may switch out one of these for my brothers and just be like, well, yours is in better condition than mine, but I know he opens his anyway, so I'm going to do that. But yeah, there we go. Two of them. It doesn't matter which one I open. I'll probably open up the most beat up one here. Switch this one with my brother. But yeah, let's take a closer look at this guy. So hello everybody and welcome to a figure review. We're gonna take a look at Snake Eyes here. Um, probably like the 20th or, no, I'm exaggerating, but it is, I believe our fifth one. Let's see, we had version 00, we had version 01, and then we had a redo on version 01. And then we had, or is it 01 or 02, I forget. Um, but we got that one twice, we got the, Timber and Alpha Commando Snake Eyes um, two pack, and then we got another Snake Eyes and Timber two pack, and that's our fifth. So this is our sixth. Oh, and then we had Movie Snake Eyes, so that's our sixth one. This is our seventh one, and then we are getting a brand new The Desert Commando Snake Eyes, which I did not pre order, so hopefully. I'm able to get it, but I'm not in such a hurry to get it, I, even though it is a desert color and I love desert inspired decos, but it's too many snake eyes, um, in my opinion. Uh, hopefully they, they, you know, hopefully they kind of slow down on the snake eyes releases and give us a version two or like version three. Um, that would be cool. Um, but yeah, there's the back, there's the file card for Snake Eyes if you guys want to read up on it. Um, obviously, he's a, more of a kind of mysterious character, so probably not a lot of info, but there's the cool retro art with, you know, the updated tweaks, you know, the holster, pistol, and then his gun and stuff. Nice stuff, nice stuff, and yes, yeah, so we already took it out. With that being said, we do get good fair amount of accessories from what I can see, so we'll take a closer look at those. So in terms of accessories, we do have a bit of reuse, um, you know, obviously the base plate here, um, or display stand is going to be reused, um, but yeah, there's a nice star logo and two pegs there to stand them up. The pistol is reused from Stalker, oh, and I just dropped it. But yeah, there is some nice kind of paint added onto the pistol here, you know, kind of that greenish, bluish, green and blue uh, paint on the handle there. Very cool, I like the mold. And we saw it with Stalker, as I said, as well as this sort of silencer attachment or suppressor for those of you gun um, experts, I don't know what you would call it. And it's not too terribly warped. I mean, I think the suppressor hangs down a bit too much. It should be a bit straightened out. But for the most part, it's not too warped, you know? So it's pretty straight, as well as the suppressor here. We do get the same knife that came with Stalker. Again, that kind of greenish, bluish um, handle there. And then you can see the little detail with the screw there. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, no painted blade, it's just flat black. Not a big fan of this um, blade mold because the 
blade seems very thick and not very sharp. Um, but yeah, there that is. Get some pick spring there. And then we do get two new accessories here in the form of, um, I guess you could call them grenades, flashbangs, or tear gas, depending um, on what you want them to be. I don't know if the lettering here um, kind of represents some specific type of grenade here, but we do get some nice letters on them with a nice kind of red deco going around them. And then you get the handles and then you get the pins there. So that's pretty neat. You get two of them. Very cool. Uh, the Uzi, an older mold we've seen many times already. There it is, very cool. And then we do get a new kind of um, strap. Um, I don't know what to call it. Uh, but yeah, these are meant to be ex explosive. You know, he has a commander who goes in there and gets the job done. He explodes things. Very cool. Mold, very reminiscent of the old vintage styled, um, you know, kind of handbags. That Goddamn annoying people. But yeah, we, we get that vintage looking ex explosive bag, which is pretty neat. And that being said, let's take a close look and quick look at um, Snake Eyes because he is mostly reused. So there's not much to cover with him. All right, so here we have him in his full black outfit glory and the most definitive version, at least for me, when it comes to Snake Eyes. Um, you know, I like his ninja attire and all that, but I don't know, there's something about his commando look that just really, I don't know, I recognize him more with that look than, uh, than his ninja look, and you know, this is just more of his military, you know, business duties rather than his ninja duties. And I think he came out looking great. You do get that tone of like green, blue um, tones throughout the body with these buckles, with this sort of molded knife there, this other molded grenade there and stuff. So all around, even here on the back, and that's about it. And the rest is just black as we know Snake Eyes to be. Um, this is a new head sculpt, at least for me. We haven't seen this head sculpt on any of the other snake eyes so that's pretty neat and then you do get the glossy um goggles there very cool and then you get this sort of snow mask kind of breathing um holes there very cool um this is mostly the stalker body reused and the vest or this gear here is the same as well the holster and knife sheath so nothing too crazy there and yeah, I mean, articulation wise, yeah, you can bend, swivel, go back. This guy really wants to be annoying today, doesn't he? Um, yeah, you can move out his arms pretty well. You do get the butterfly joint in there. You get the bicep swivel, very cool. And then you get double jointed arms which you know mine is brand new so it takes a bit of effort to fold them but yeah you get a horizontal hinge here so you go side to side and then over here this one should be a vertical hinge yeah it's a vertical hinge like i said mine is brand new out of the package so it may take a bit to move these joints but yeah this is a vertical hinge goes up and down um he can look up about that much and down pretty good yeah he does have good ankle uh, not ankle but head pivoting he can drop down kick and then kick forward very nice he does have the upper thigh cut double fat knee is tight but yeah he does have double jointed knees you get the boot rotation there and then you get up back and you know ankle pivot um but yeah 
not much going on with this guy other than a bunch of reuse and then you know a new head sculpt but i don't mind it um it really captures that old look of snake eyes his vintage one and i am all here for it um pretty solid release but when it comes to storage i think you can store everything on him we get the knife sheath pistol we get the Presser, it should go in there, slide in there. There you go. Very nicely. You do get his bag, which should go. Let me see, I don't want to rip that right now, but there you go. That goes over pretty nicely. Lays there, you know, very subtle. It just adds to the overall look. And then you do get these, and a lot of people are deciding to store them on this strap. Yes. Such if I can get it, yeah. There you go. So, there you go. They should just hang around there. And if he needs to use them, he needs to use them. So, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, you can put them wherever you want, probably lower right there. So, that's pretty neat. And then you can make him hold the, the Uzi. I think this is an Uzi. People can correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, there you go. Um, vintage retro package um, Snake Eyes from Walmart exclusive. You know, it took a while for these guys to go back uh, or this guy to go back on in stock for a while. But I finally got them. And unfortunately, yeah, I did get the mail. Um, the, the weird mailer that Walmart uses for shipping, you know, collectibles. Very bad business from Walmart, but... I'm happy to finally have mine here in hand. He looks very cool and he will be replacing the other Alpha Commando um, Snake Eyes that we had already gotten. And just to show you guys that these are different head sculpts, you know, the goggles strap go all the way around on um, this Alpha Commando one, whereas this one it doesn't, so yeah. There's the, those differences, and the overall mask is also different. You know, you, this one has these other vents on the side there. Um, so yeah, difference. And then you get some more sculpting on this one, you know, to show that it is a mask. So, you know, there's some wrinkles there. So yeah, very cool. Um, head sculpt, I, I really like this one. Um, so yeah, I believe the new Desert Commander one uh, uses this new head sculpt as well. But with that being said, <laughs> here we have every single one. I mean, I may be missing the new one and then also which other one could I be missing? I'm definitely missing the re-release on this first Snake Eyes that we got um, without the weird red um, line on his visor. But yeah, here we have the Zero Zero, the deluxe one, which my brother bought, you know, he paid the extra money, you know, in the aftermarket for it. I remember getting this guy, you know, he was the, one of the first, um, can't speak, one of the first figures of the G.I. Joe Classified line. And then we did get the movie version, which a lot of people don't like. I actually like this figure, I like posing it around. And then we do get, the, we got the... Um, the Alpha Commando Timber 2-pack um, Snake Eyes here. We got the Fortnite version. We got the other Snake Eyes and Timber 2-pack. Um, this one was more of a ninja and sort of military um, equipment kind of Snake Eyes. And then we have the Alpha Commando, my definitive version of Snake Eyes, which will be um, taking the place of this snake eyes which i had on the shelf for the longest time um but yeah that being said i mean do you are you tired of snake eyes i'm pretty sure a lot of people are um you know i certainly am a little bit tired already i think they've overdone snake eyes um for him being such a mysterious and cool character he's just kind of everywhere now um but yeah, like I've said, this guy's amazing. Um, definitely recommend picking him up if you haven't already. 
may be a bit tricky to find them in stores. Um, but yeah, with that being said, which one's your favorite Snake Eyes so far? I know I'm gonna get the, uh, the, the what's it called? The Sandstorm um, Alpha Commando. Again, I didn't pre-order it, but I do plan on picking him up. I think people are a little um, disappointed with another Snake Eyes repaint, and especially it's not a like unique original look um, for a lot of people. So a lot of people may pass on that, and I'm just hoping that that particular Snake Eyes um, goes on sale at some point, and then I'll be able to pick it up. Or maybe I'll just pull the trigger and buy it soon um, just to have them because I do like the desert camo look as I said at the beginning of the video. But yeah, look at all these snake eyes. <laughs> With that being said, I'll see you guys in a future review. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, I mean, you guys have a good old day. Thank you.